It's story time. Elena and the Secret of Avalor One day Princess Sofia discovered a secret library filled with real-life stories that needed happy endings. Now, Sofia is the storykeeper and she is in charge of making those endings happen. One day the library shows Sofia a book called The Lost Princess of Avalor. Like my amulet of Avalor? Sofia wonders. Suddenly a wizard appears. Exactly like your amulet, he says. I am Alakazar. I was once the royal wizard of the kingdom of Avalor. Alakazar tells Sofia his story. Forty-one years ago, in the kingdom of Avalor, there lived a princess named Elena. He begins. One day, her kingdom was invaded by an evil sorcerer named Shuriki. Elena bravely challenged Shuriki, which gave me time to protect her sister Isabel and her grandparents. The amulet of Avalor protected the princess from Shuriki by pulling Elena inside it. So Princess Elena is trapped inside my amulet? Sophia asks. Yes, Alcazar replied. And you are the special princess who was chosen to free her. Sophia has to help Princess Elena, so she convinces her family to travel to Avalor. Avalor City is the most amazing kingdom Sophia has ever seen. Alakazar told her to find his old house and then summon his spirit guide. When Sophia and her family arrive at the dock, Queen Shariki and Counselor Esteban are there to greet them. Everyone is having lunch on the terrace when some strange creatures fly overhead. They are Jacquins, a servant explains. Magical creatures that are the symbols of Avalor. Sophia asks for help from the Jacquins and tells them that she came to rescue Princess Elena. The Jacquins are surprised and decide to help Sophia. They take her to Alakazar's house. When they get there, she meets Matteo, Alakazar's grandson. He offers to help rescue Elena and summons a spirit animal named Zuzo. Zuzo tells Sofia she has to steal Shuriki's wand. Then, she needs to find the statue of Azulina in an ancient temple. When Sofia places the wand and her amulet on the statue, Elena will be set free. Back at the palace, Sofia convinces Shuriki to dance with her. Then, she takes Shuriki's wand and heads to the temple. She wraps her amulet around the wand, places on the statue, and then Princess Elena appears. I knew you would set me free, Sophia. Thank you, she cries. Now, it's up to me to free my kingdom. But Elena couldn't do anything against Shuriki. Shuriki captures Sofia's family and now 
they have to find a way to set them free and to destroy the evil sorceress. We can all face Shuriki together, Sophia says. Everyone rushes to the throne room. Matteo uses one of his grandfather's spells to free Elena's family from the painting. They were trapped there from Alcazar, so he can protect them from Shuriki. That part of the plan was over, but they still need to find Shuriki and take back the kingdom. When they find Shuriki, she threats Elena and lifts her wand, but Counselor Esteban grabs it right out of Shuriki's hand. It's the source of her magic, he says, tossing it to Elena. Elena snaps the wand in half. No! Shuriki cries. With the magic's powers gone, she turned into an old woman and then runs away. Avalor's free once more. All hail Princess Elena of Avalor, the rightful heir, shouts Counselor Esteban. Princess Elena, the people cheer. Thank you, Sophia, says Elena. I couldn't have done all this without you. You are so brave and clever friend. As soon as Sophia and her family return to Enchantia, she hurries to the secret library and tells Alcazar what happened. You helped give Elena's story an excellent ending, he says. Actually, she tells him, I have a feeling Elena's story is just beginning. To support us, please subscribe to Storytime.